incoming New York City schools chancellor was plucked from the private sector. Kathy Black has a business background as an executive in the publishing world. She has no real education experience, however. She's never been a teacher, never been a principal. Her children attended private school. Uh, however, parents we caught up with, somewhat optimistic about the new appointment. I think it's a nice change, and it's about time a woman gets in there and gets something done. Well, we'll see how she works out because we had so many issues before. Worked in New York for most of. Okay, for more on uh, the chancellor stepping down and Kathy Black stepping up, we are joined by New York Post education reporter Yoav Gonin and Eva Moskowitz, the founder and CEO of the Success Charter Network. Welcome to you both. Thanks. Thank you. Eva, first to you. Someone told me that Eva Moskowitz is a thousand percent more qualified to be the school's chancellor than Kathy Black. Again, zero education experience. She's never been an administrator. She doesn't have a PhD like you do. Um, what's your reaction to this appointment? Pashaw. She's smart. She's capable. She's managed a large-scale organization. She's going to be great. I have no concerns whatsoever. My advice to her is, though, she's going to have to be bold. The mayor's going to have to be bold, and she's going to have to be bold, because this is a hard system to make work for kids and parents. Yoav, you cover the department. Um, any grumbling that there perhaps wasn't a national search for a new... I know the mayor has the power to do this, but perhaps take a time out. Let's look across the country. Let's look internally. Let's open this up. Tell people we're looking for somebody new. Instead, he kind of just did this very, very privately, very discreetly. I, I think there's going to be grumbling no matter how you do it. Um, and I, I don't know the extent of his search because it was done... Uh, so quietly, but I, th I think um, for the, the kind of person that he wanted, somebody who could manage a large department like, like that, um, obviously he, he feels like he brought in the right type of person. I, I, you have a lot of experience, Eva, in education. I mean, are, aren't credentials in education helpful, at least somewhat, in running the school's largest uh, the, the country's largest school system. You know, you need to get good advice from educators, and I'm sure she'll surround herself with the best of the best. And she's never worked in government before. I mean, the, you have, have to know where the levers are, the yeah, bullies, but, right, how this also, stuff works. Yeah, you do, and she can get advice on that, but we also need some fresh faces. We need people who think outside of the box. You know, being in government your entire career is not necessarily the best training to be innovative. We are at the bottom of the international heap in America in public education. We're going to have to think fast and boldly in order to make sure our kids get what they deserve and are entitled to. Yoav, back to Joel Klein. What do you think his legacy will be? Um, well, I, I think a lot of people agree with, with what the mayor said, that he came in and took a, a system that was pretty much dysfunctional, and he made a lot of changes more organizationally, I think, than instructionally, but... I think he really took a, a, a ship that was headed in the right direction, and, and he at least turned it toward the right direction. And, and now uh, the new chancellor will have a chance to, to build on that. Eva Moskowitz, a lot of folks have commented on your rather close relationship with the school's chancellor. It's been an advantage for you. You can pick up the phone, at least that's the perception, get him on the phone, uh, email back and forth. That has been, uh, that's been a major advantage uh, for you. You're losing that now. Well, I mean, Joel Klein has done this for nine years. It's an exhausting job. I would argue that he's the boldest chancellor in America. He has taken on the entrenched special interests, and we as a city should be grateful for his nine years of service. I'm optimistic that I can get uh, Kathy Black on the phone. Uh, we're educating thousands of parents, and um, this is a city that needs to be responsive to parent choice, and I think the mayor and the new chancellor will be very responsive to great public schooling. And, and your thoughts, if you could put it in a headline, the ch uh, Chancellor Klein's legacy? He just has been a bold reformer. He has not settled for mediocrity. He has set his sights on excellence, and he has pushed this system to perform. It's a hard system to push to perform. Yoav, uh, the New York Times today, mm, essentially a, a, a mixed review. I, I think it's overall positive from the Times, at least. Mr. Klein can make many claims about the successes of his tenure, including rising test scores and graduation rates and the initial makings of an objective system to evaluate teachers. It goes on, however, according to Leonie Hameson, uh, he is leaving us with a legacy of classroom overcrowding, community these fighting over co-located schools and kindergarten waiting lists. You know, I, I would say the, the biggest criticism uh, that's been levied against him has been his inability to collaborate when, when he needs to at times, sometimes with the teachers' union, sometimes with parents. Um, 
it's, it's, it's tough snow. Sometimes you have to be tough. Sometimes you have to be willing to compromise. And, and I think that's going to be the challenge for the new chancellor. Yo, I've gone in from the New York Post. Eva Moskowitz from the uh, Success Academy. Uh, thank you both. Good to see you again. Uh, Success Charter Network. Nice thank to see you. you both. Get MyFoxNY.com on your iPhone free at the App Store and stay connected.